Hello everybody, hello from Hamburg. Welcome to our session, Escaping the Feature Factory. Our journey into thinking continuous delivery end to end. My name is Michael and I'm responsible for the business part of our digital product. And my name is Stefan. I'm representing the tech side of digital product. Together, we share the same vision on how we want to work and the same spirit to move our company forward. We would like to inspire you for your way and spotlight some of our key factors. Let's have a look on the next 30 minutes. We will start with some facts to understand our starting position, then our view of idea to impact. After that, we look at the new needed mindset in the organization, and finally, our learnings. The Hermes Group is the largest post-independent parcel company in Europe, focused on the large countries like UK, France, and Germany. The Hermes Germany is located in Hamburg and we deliver more than 400 million parcels per year. Where we come from? Our company is no startup, founded 72 in Hamburg almost 50 years ago. We have, maybe I should say had, a traditional understanding of organizations. And as a, as a logistic company, we are focused on process optimization. And of course, it's necessary for a company like ours, especially if you want to deliver up to 2 million parcels a day. But with logistics coming first, customer definitely came second in our industry and for Hermes as well for a long time. We are on the right way, but still a way to go. Before going into details about our journey, a small side note. We learn a lot, lot from books and conferences, like probably all of you too. Here you see some of the books and authors that inspired us. This is true, for example, for MVPs, project to product, push to pull, or lean management. We use most of these approaches in our organization, but will not cover them in detail today. Instead, we want to give you a general introduction to our transformation, highlighting the fundamental ideas behind it. We want to share with you our experience, digging our way through a large, mature organization. One important aspect of this implementation is how we optimize our value stream to make our customers happy. But before stepping our current activities, let's do a time warp back to 2011 for what we call the dark age of IT. Like many companies, Hermes tried to optimize the IT function for cost and planning reliability. So it was decided to organize IT as a shared service provider within the company. That resulted in odd ideas like company internal billing for IT projects. In the end, cost optimization might have succeeded. However, the drawbacks were far bigger. First of all, we as IT were clearly separated from the business. There was no alignment between, and even worse, IT had no idea about the customer. Fortunately, the idea of being a service provider died in 2015. Since then, we are re-engineering tech and the corporation, optimizing for what we call idea to impact. Our organization looked like a walled garden in that dark age. Each step in the process siloed into a dedicated department. Usually, every department had its own agenda. As a fun fact, Agile was introduced already 10 years ago at Hermes, right in the middle of the dark age. They introduced the Scrum framework in the development teams, but everything else was left untouched. This is what the value stream looks like as a process. Each step is siloed. Clearly, the good thing is that each step can get optimized. Unfortunately, all optimization is local only. Nobody takes the entire process into account. In the end, we have no enhancements in terms of innovation, speed, or quality. 
So what is the best testing in the world worth if you don't ship the right product or if you don't ship things fast enough? We had what is called activity-based working. But even worse, with a new agile approach in place in the development, we had no common understanding on the ways of working. So conflicts arose between development and the other areas in our value stream. And when the shared service provider idea died, we took our chances. We moved from local optimization to a value stream optimization and gradually got better and better. Since Scrum was then already well established in the development teams, we used the development as the epicenter and gradually expanded the agile principles into the other steps of our value stream. It was important for us to do this very carefully, step by step, to secure the success during progressing. By creating an understanding for each other, we closely aligned each step of the value stream. And all of a sudden, for the first time in our organization, we had flow. There was a great feeling and it, it and encouraged us to go further. So while Agile taught us a lot about culture and it gave us a new understanding about work and collaboration, and it allowed us to cope with new levels of complexity, the DevOps principles, on the other hand, helped us a lot to align the different disciplines with each other. Let's take a closer look. 